This is how you get custom app icons that take you directly into the app you're looking for. Whoa, how'd she do that? Oh, this, this look? Stepping out of my use for this video. This is my Gene Simmons look inspired by one of my subscribers, Janie. Oh, oh, you meant the, the custom app icon that goes directly to the app with no transitions? I wanted to make this video because I haven't seen anybody else with a video on YouTube on how to make your own custom icons in a way that you don't have any transitions before you get to like the main app. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Also gonna give you a quick look at how I designed my icons. I have been digging for this solution everywhere, so you don't have to do all the digging. Let's jump right in. So most of the videos out there are showing you how to do custom app icons using the Shortcuts app. Making a new shortcut, add an action, click apps, click whatever app you want, and then you click here, add to home screen, and then pick your custom icon here. The issue with that is it does a transition through the shortcuts to the app. Unfortunately for the system phone app, there's really no workaround for that. The way I'm about to show you, for all third-party apps, you can go directly into the app you're looking for. So for system apps with this workaround, you do still have this transition, if you like drag up here, you can see that there's this weird blank app. It doesn't really affect like opening the app. You barely even notice, but when you like go to like swipe through things, you'll notice it then. The other way I've seen to do this is through this website called iskin.tulyphone.net. And they have a bunch of different like themes and whole packs. And you can go through and download and select the ones that you want from each pack, but it's very difficult to browse this website. And with these, you will get the transition screen with all of the apps in here. So here's the Reddit post that I found the instructions for this on. They designed their own like shortcut program, I guess. I'm not even sure. I'm techie, but not that techie. Uh, you click this link here and you've got this wonderful website that gives you all the instructions that you could ever possibly need and a whole bunch of troubleshooting as well. I'll link this. So you go here and you click get shortcut and it will download it. I'm not going to add it right now because I've already added it. Um, see, like it's got like, it's very, very complicated, uh, far above my um, pay grade. So I'm going to hit don't add because I just, I've, I've already added it. Um, but you would hit add. If you get an error doing that, you just go into your settings and scroll down to shortcuts, click shortcuts and make sure that this allow untrusted shortcuts thing is on. And then you have to put in your password. Okay, so now that you've got that set up, you're ready to go. Now you just have to make your logo. If you already have your icon picked out, fast forward a little bit to get to the instructions on creating the shortcut. If you like the way that these app icons look, the way I did it is I used Magic Eraser background and Icon Maker and Pick Collage. There might be a better way that's all together in one app, but this is just how I've been doing it. And I really like the look that has been coming out of it. Step one, pick your logo. Step two, icon maker. And I just uploaded whatever icon I wanted to use, found the color scheme that I wanted. I'm going to click this little square with a circle in it at the bottom here, and that's gonna invert that. Download it, save it, go to magic eraser. Use the little magic wand icon down here. Just click the color that you wanna get rid of. You're gonna make sure that you save it as a PNG with a transparent background. Then go into pick collage. And you'll see here, I have like all the ones that I have made. And so what I did to make my life easier is I would just duplicate whatever one, that way the background is positioned the same way and everything and then just throw away the old one, add in the new one, and center this. 
get it the size that I want it done. Save to library. I'm going to crop this the way I want it and make sure it's centered. Now, once you've got your picture, you are ready to run this shortcut. So you go into your shortcuts and you click icon themer. Also know that sometimes when you run this, it will pop up and give you an option to update it. Definitely do that. Make sure you keep it updated because the author is always coming out with new bug fixes. If you want to do this for like your phone app or your message app or your maps app, something that's inherent in iOS, you click system apps, but any third party apps, you're going to hit search app store and you type in the app you're wanting and click it here. And now you get to choose your icon. This part takes a second. It's doing some work in the background for you. Now you can change the label if you want to, and then you don't do anything here, just hit done. And it's gonna bring you to this in Safari and you're gonna click allow, close, and then you go into your settings and you'll see this pop up that says profile downloaded. You click that, install, enter your password, install, and then you exit, and there it is. Ta-da! I have found three very minor drawbacks to this method. One, which is actually a drawback for all of the methods for custom icons, you cannot get um, notification badges on these. So I'll show you how I work around that. Two is, it is very labor intensive, and so if you want to completely like redo your home screen theme and icons. That's a lot of work. So I'll show you, I ended up wanting to do that. So I'll show you what I did that will make that easier in the future, hopefully. And then the last one is that the iOS system apps do still have a transition in them, but all the third party apps, it just goes straight to the app. So a couple things that I did to overcome some of the shortcomings of this workaround, I put all of my apps that have important notifications all together right here. And then I also created a folder with all of the previous app icons that I made and decided I didn't want. And so that later I can use them if I change my mind. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide that screen and then I don't have to deal with it anymore. Another cool hack I found is how you can make custom air quotes folder icons. It's a shortcut and it just takes you to a menu that you can pick all of those apps from. If you're interested in that, it is this thing called Fancy Folder Maker and I will put a link to that in the description. One last thing, almost forgot, super important. Do not delete your apps after you have created these custom icons. Just move them to the app library. If you delete them, then the shortcuts don't work because you don't have the app.